Hey guys, welcome to the Droid Guy channel. How to fix system idle process high CPU usage. When there are no other tasks available for Windows computer, the system idle process in Windows will run. There have been reports from users experiencing high CPU usage on system idle process, even if it is not using system resources. But not to worry, there are several troubleshooting solutions that you can do to fix this, and it will be discussed in this video. But before we begin, we would appreciate it if you hit the like and subscribe button for more troubleshooting videos. First solution, disable startup process. There are programs that automatically runs when computer boots up. Although these are extremely helpful for applications that you frequently use, it is likely possible for the high CPU usage as there are a lot of startup programs that tends to overload your system. To fix this, try to disable startup process and then check if it resolves the issue. To do this, press Windows key plus R keys to run dialog box. At run dialog box, type msconfig and then press enter. Then at system configuration section, click services tab and then check the option hide all Microsoft services. Doing so will disable all Microsoft related services. Next click disable all tab, this time third party services will be disabled. Click apply to apply changes made, then click OK to exit. Enable each process one by one and checking if it fixes the problem to be able to check which process is the culprit for high CPU usage. Second solution, update driver. There's a possibility that a specific driver is causing the issue to occur. Once problematic driver has been identified, you may need to update driver. An outdated or corrupt driver can cause problems. Make sure drivers are up to date. To do this, press Windows key plus R keys to run dialog box. At run dialog box, type devmgmt.msc and then press enter. In this case, let's just assume that the display driver is causing this issue, so we're going to update the driver. So at device manager window, right, click on the problematic driver and then select update driver from the drop down menu. Next, choose the option search automatically for drivers. Windows will now check for drivers. Once best drivers are already installed, click close to exit. Next, restart your computer. Once computer completely reboots, check if the issue still persists, and that's it. I hope this guide has been helpful. Please support us by clicking like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more troubleshooting videos.